Sadly, vacation time is over. So I'm gonna be showing you a small torture chest that I did on a gold over silver bracelet from Gold Fever Miami. It is a 16 millimeter, seven and a half inch that I've had for well over a year. And it really gets the most wear out of a lot of pieces because I just don't care that much about it. If it gets lost, damaged, ruined, whatever the case may be, it's just gold over silver. So it's not gonna hurt me or kill me or whatever. But I decided to really take this on vacation and put it through in a little, like a little additional torture test to see how the gold plating held up. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can show you the results and show you some snippets of some of the things that I did to put it through this torture test. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Florida Keys was kind of nice. A little weird, kind of hippie-ish. Everybody had crinkled pork rind faces and all these dudes had this bleach blonde hair and ponytails. It was very unusual, but shout out to the homie Albert. He's a bartender over at Lucy's in Key West who spotted me, recognized me, took care of me the whole night and I truly appreciate it. What I don't appreciate is that you made me do a scorpion shot, which is a shot of tequila with a scorpion inside of it. Needless to say, I was shitting different the next day, but shout out to you, bro. You were fucking awesome. If you ever go to Key West, go to Lucy's, check out Albert, tell him Cuba sent you. So, to give you a brief synopsis, and I'll show you clips throughout the video of the activities that I did with this, really to give it that torture test and see how that gold plating would last on it. Um, we did the beach for several hours in that nasty ass water that had seaweed everywhere because the tide was just out of control. The pool for a few hours, as well as the sauna. The shit was heavily worn and I even like slipped and fell and scuffed it a little bit, but it's still fine. So it was definitely an interesting process and I got to see different things that I hadn't been able to see before. Why? Because I live in a climate where it's fucking cold all the time and it's just recently hitting in summer. As I mentioned, this is a bracelet that has a substantial amount of wear. I think I've had it over a year, maybe, maybe approaching two years. I've definitely had it over a year, possibly approaching two year mark with a lot of wear and there was some turning that happened and I really got to see a different change when it hit salt water specifically and how it turned out. So I'm gonna show you guys some up close shots and point out some things that I seen. Now full disclosure, I did clean this with a toothbrush and palm olive prior to the video because I wanted just to be able to see it throughout with no residue or whatever. Uh, it wasn't the best cleaning to be honest. Generally I like to throw it in an ultrasonic but here we go. So here is the 16 millimeter, seven and a half inch gold over silver bracelet from Gold Fever Miami that's over a year old with wear. Now this discoloration you guys have seen in another video, that discoloration was there prior to any torture test. So this isn't brand new and this isn't something that just happened. This has been there before, possibly due to the friction, possibly the, you know, the discoloration, I don't know. You know, that's just what's there. Now this was a very high polished piece. Uh, at one point, but I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick it up But there were some changes that happened during this process now I'm gonna try to show y'all in detail so you guys can get an idea so What I did notice here obviously the whole bracelet didn't fade I'd be super surprised if that really did happen or if there was just massive amounts of chipping or peeling or some crazy shit That at all didn't happen and you can clearly see but the plating did show signs of wear so where it did show signs of wear, and it's gonna be really difficult to see in the camera, honestly, with either a phone, even with macro shots, it might be tough, and I'll try to do some macros, but there is some discoloration in these points right here. Again, very difficult to tell, but I'm just being honest with you. There are some discolorations here that is exposing a little bit of the silver in some of these parts. Now, it's even hard for me to see it in this particular light, let me see if I can add some extra lighting just to show. And I'll put this here so you guys can get the whole perspective while I try to shine some additional light on it. Let me see if this lighting helps at all. No, it doesn't help at all either. 
All right, so the additional lighting was a flop, unfortunately. As I stated, there is some discoloration on some of these links. I'm just gonna try to sneak through them and visually look at them without looking at the camera screen. This is probably from the fall, this scratch over here. It was probably from when I busted my ass because of the flip flops. You can see between the links, there is a little bit of discoloration and there's some dirt as well. As you can see between the links, right here on these edges here where there's the most friction is where there's some silver peeking through, which I would have been surprised that if it would have been more in here, but it's actually on the edges of these links here. I'll be honest with you, it looked a lot worse when it was in the sunlight in Florida before I even cleaned it. So there is a little bit of friction there, but it isn't discoloration. What I can tell you is that that high gloss polish and shine that was left on it is not really on it at this point. You know? Just showing y'all between each link. So in the back of the piece, there is some discoloration here in the back of the male portion of the lock. Some also at the base back here. You can see that there. The lock is still completely functional. And still figure eights clip on perfectly. Honestly, in the sunlight at the beach, you can spot a little bit more of the fading in between some of the links. It wasn't all of them, it's some of them. So one I can spot kind of here, and I'll try to do a macro shot as well so you guys can see. But I thought it looked a little bit worse before I actually cleaned it. So it could have been a lot of soot and chlorine and shit above it that really also threw off what I was seeing in Florida. Because right now, doesn't look as bad as I thought. Let's do some macro shots. So here are some macro shots. I'm not gonna lie to you. In the sunlight, in the beach, it looked a little bit more suspect. In this lighting, it doesn't look that crazy. Maybe it has to do with outdoor lighting. So let's go check outside. All right, we're doing outside shots. Yeah. It must have been maybe soot on it or maybe extra salt water. Okay, there's a little bit there. Damn, maybe I was wrong. I mean, you guys are seeing it. You can point it out, please feel free. Okay, there's a little bit there of silver right here. Yeah, this edge here. This edge right here has got some silver coming through. Yeah. These links are still a little stiff over here. I don't know, maybe it still has um, some salt grit inside of it. But I'm giving you guys macro shots, up close shots, sunlight shots, studio shot. I mean, I don't know what the fuck else I could do at this point. Damn, it really doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look or what I really anticipated. Oh, right here. That could have been from my fall, though. I don't know. But right here, you definitely see some silver exposed for sure. Right there. Shit. All right, let's look at the bottom. Maybe there's more here. Between some of the links. Definitely got wear for sure. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. I've done up close macro. I've done up close non macro. I've shown you outdoor lighting. I've shown you artificial lighting. Maybe it was the alcohol that had me tripping that I was seeing shit because 
Now I'm not seeing it. I don't have a gold plated machine. I can't gold plate this fucking thing. Hmm. There was where it had a higher polished shine on it prior to me going to the beach. So there was some sort of wear, but not enough. I think it needs a longer torture test. Hmm. I'm gonna think of something to really strip this fucking thing down. I really thought it looked worse. Could have been the alcohol. I don't know. But, yeah. Oh, wait, there's a piece here I'm missing. I didn't notice that right here. A little discoloration there. Right here. See? Right there. Okay. That's me nitpicking right now. What do you guys think? Share your thoughts. You've seen up close, outdoor, artificial lighting. You've seen all these different shots. It is gold over silver. And from what I remember, they offer a free first time plating. So if you ever have these issues, I can send this in and just get it replated for free as you can as well for the first time. You guys let me know. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time you know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.